In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the file uploading capabilities in your ASP.NET MVC application using the Infragistics file upload control. We'll start off with the Razor syntax defining our file upload control with some features. Then we'll get into creating the upload folder where all of our files are going to be stored when the user uploads it. Then we're going to set up some config settings uh, and create our HTTP module that hooks it all up together. So when a client makes a request to upload the file, the progress is uploaded and the file gets uh, downloaded to the folder we decide they want to store all the information at. So let's get started. In my Visual Studio 2010, I have created a new MVC project here and I've pre-configured my application so that it can use Infragistics Infra controls. Uh, if you want to learn how to configure your projects, there's another video and a blog post on it. I strongly recommend going through that. So in this case, we're going to get directly into our view and start coding, coding our Razor syntax. So I'm going to come down into my index page and uh, we'll start defining our file upload control here. You can see here I already have a using statement, so I'm going to get IntelliSense for all my helper methods. So I'm going to do at uh, html.infogistics.upload, and it's going to give me the file upload control. Now from here on, I can just set the properties that I want for my file upload. So I want to set auto start upload. I want to disable that, so I can set false. Secondly, I need to uh, hook it up to the server-side HTTP module that's going to ping uh, and, and get transfer the upload progress. So I'm going to set that up. I'm going to set progress URL to be content or URL dot content and the path to my um, helper, which I'm going to define a little bit. So I'm going to say IG upload status handler. Dot ASA HX do a slash here. Okay, so that defines the HD module, and I can set the mode to be multiple file upload. So I'm going to say upload mode dot multiple. So you can have either single or file multiple file upload in this case. Then I'm going to go in here and set the set the properties that I want. So I can set the max uploaded files if I want to restrict the uh, amount of files that can be uploaded. Uh, simultaneous file upload, so you can restrict that depending on your browser settings. And you can even define these labels, so you have an add button, clear button, as we'll see at runtime. All these text areas are going to show up, so you can customize or localize all these settings uh, within the control itself. And um, let's set some um, set some some file size matrix. So we want to use uh, let's say. Uh, megabytes for our upload count. So we can do upload size metrics to be megabytes. And we'll set some restrictions in the web config as we go along. And let's look at a couple of other settings. So if I want to pr prompt an error message, um, we can do that. So let's set up a max simultaneous files uploads so we'll say um, let's say three and in this case if it throws an error we can just throw an error message saying if the max uh, simultaneous file size upload exceeds uh, we can show them the error message of uh, max uploads exceeded okay um, and let's just render out this control and close our Razor syntax and now let's go into and create the folder where we want our files to be uploaded and we are going to call it uploads. So I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to call it uploads. Just to make sure we have permissions to write I can just right click go to my explorer and in here I can just give the properties and by default I think it says read only yes and we can remove that. Okay, let's go back to our project. So that's all configured. Now let's go to our web config and set up our modules and helpers. So let's I have some information in the notepad, so I'm going to copy and paste. Now all this information that I'm doing, I'm copying and pasting, it's available in our help files. 
So um, you can go there and you can copy the contents if you want, or you can pause the video and write it down. So I'm going to set up two app setting keys, which is basically going to give us the file upload path. So the folder that we just created is going to be an upload path, and we can set the max file size limit. So it won't allow uh, uploading size more than these many bytes. So I'm going to just paste it here my two keys that our module is going to use and then at the bottom here in the web server we need to add our handler and the module. So I'm going to go back to my notepad and I'm going to copy the module and the handler. And again this is also uh, placed in the documentation but again if you care to uh, copy and paste you can do that. I'm going to scroll all the way to the right and you can pause the video and you can write it down if you wanted to. All right, I just minimize that, come back here and paste our module information here. Once we have this, okay. Now I can, I need to create the module. So um, actually the handler. So I can come down here and right click, say add a new item. And I'm going to add a generic handler because that's going to take care of it. So I'm going to say IG upload status handler. This is the same, um, it has to be the same exact name as we defined in our progress URL when we define our Razor syntax. And also has to match up with the with what we have defined in our web config. So these all have to be the same. IG upload status handler here in our Razor syntax. And so that uh, it gets called accordingly. Finally, we need to skip this uh, this handler from the regular MVC processing. So we need to skip this route. Uh, so I'm going to come to my global.asax and I'm going to here say routes dot ignore route and I'm going to just say IG upload status handler ASAX. So that because it's it's part of the control, uh, MVC doesn't need to process it, and it needs just to skip this route so that it goes directly to our handler. Okay. With all that being said, let's run this um, application. So as we can see here, we have the upload file button now added because we have our Razor syntax um, setting up our file upload control. When you click on this, we get the open file download, choosing a file. So let's uh, click on a couple of files. Uh, we grab this one to queue it up for uploading. Let's add another file. Now, as I'm adding these files, because we have set auto start uh, uploading to be disabled, it's not starting to upload unless we hit the upload button. So once you have these two files queued up, if I hit the upload button, it's going to go ahead and add those two files to the upload folder that we created in our application. I can hide my details, show details, and other things that you can do. You can clear uploaded files, delete them, and so on and so forth. I can even add one more. Uh, let's say add this one. And uh, you can see that the, uh, the status bar and the summary bar accordingly shows how many files have been uploaded. Let's upload this file too. So now we have three files uploaded. Let's close IE. And we have our uploads folder here. Let's refresh this. And if you see in here, all the three files that we queued up for, to download from the client are now in our uploads folder. So in this quick video, you saw that how easy it is to build up the upload control using the Razor syntax, setting up some helpers and properties, creating the folder where you want the file to be uploaded. You can get file uploading capabilities into your application pretty easily. Thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.